Fallout, New Vegas, very hardcore walkthrough for ArmageddonGaming.com. This is my kind of town. Yeah. I'd love to stay here. This is a nice town, isn't it? So, my kind of town um, doesn't end with you rescuing Deputy Beagle. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, gonna have to go find a new sheriff. I uh, shot the sheriff. For this shithole town. But I did not shoot. Actually, to be fair, this is a pretty nice town compared to the rest of the wasteland until you get to Vegas. Mm. Yeah. I'll so why can't you use those bullets? What bullets? Are the ten? Wait, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. There. So yeah, um, inside here, this this part is ridiculous, uh, especially for someone who's such a low level as I am. Uh, there's two guys right here. Uh, they're the main threat for now. Honestly, there really is no good way to take them out, except with bullets. Um, I have and a bunch of dynamite. Strikes. Yeah, that that really helped me because these guys are hard to take out. I tried a million different ways to take these guys out. Reverse pickpocketing dynamite into both their pockets, stealing their ammo. These just two friggin' guys made my life miserable because they have whatever weapon it is they have they shoot you like 20 times before they have to reload like they have crazy large magazines on their guns and this guy's just going to town on me pretty sure he just took a stim pack or something now just shooting these guys just shooting these guys kind of uh, alert the other guys no nope that big room towards the end, no, you could take these guys out, no matter how large loud you are. Uh, they do have one guy patrolling that, that hallway, which is now to my right and extends back behind me. Uh, but he prob he won't um he won't recognize that there's a firefight going on unless you let him. <laughs> what? I, just, I don't know how he doesn't notice that. Repair everything. Everything. Leave nothing unrepaired. No, leave leave nothing. Period. Should probably drop that tire iron and that knife. I don't do melee damage. Alright, so you can see I've hot keyed me some those those frag mines that we picked up coming into town. How does this guy not see you? Is he facing the other way? I think so. I've one shotted this guy before. I went for it here. Didn't work. Yeah, and your gun skill, you're like your accuracy in VAT seems significantly lower than it should be. Yep. Is it changed based on your uh, difficulty? I'm not really sure. So. Vagina. This uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just all in the camera's face. <laughs> Right, this this might as well just be a porno at this point. <laughs> it smells uh, a lot like fish now. Right, so attacking this guy may or may not bring out his friends in the next room. It didn't for me. Um, I've had times where it, where it did, but it didn't. Pro tip, now, save it before when you get in this building. What? Save it before you get in this, or when you get in this building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For every confrontation, save it. All right, so I'm going to throw mine there. I'm going to throw mine here. And then I throw mine here because they're gonna come out of both those doors, and that's the choke point right there. There's actually another way to get over there. I bet. Um, but I want I'm I'm purposely leading them down this hallway. Yeah, either way you go, you still have you're still gonna end up fighting these guys. Yeah. But if if you see the door to your direct left, uh, that brings you down a hallway that brings you right to Deputy Beagle. Now I'll tell you how I screwed up. Um, I stopped using the dynamite when the the leader was still alive because I didn't know he was the leader until he started shooting at me with his crazy ass weapon that he has this is him I didn't know this was him until I vatsed him and I said oh shit it's time to go <laughs> it's like super incinerator yeah now, you're just losing health like crazy I know. Dealing with this guy is not fun. Um, here's what I did. I shot the gun out of his hands. 
strategy alert. Yep. Now, he decided he was just going to run into this wall. Nice. Now, should this not happen to you, um, use the rooms for cover. Uh, there was a small room with a bunch of bottle caps in it that I passed earlier, um, just when you get into this hallway. You can use that for cover. Um, I've successfully held out in that room just by chucking dynamite over the counter and using the counter for cover. How excited were you when this happened? Crazy excited. Just, oh my god! Then I hit him with the shotgun from point blank range twice in a row and it's just doing no damage. And then it did that kind of damage. All right, now he may or may not be the last guy here to take out. Uh, I still have one more. I went looking for that gun. I couldn't find it. It hurts every time to use a stim pack. Yeah, I, I can imagine because it does on normal, but... Just, you know how well. Stim packs and stealth boys are much more generous in this game than they were in Fallout 3. I, I, what do you mean? Like, the amount of them you get? Yeah. And I wish the, I had a lot of stim packs. I have like 20 something stim packs right now, and I sometimes will blow through them. And then I have a bunch of stealth boys I just don't even touch. See, it's funny because I can't blow through them. I try not to because I don't like using a lot like, of them. Like, if you use one, you gotta wait until your health regenerates. So, alright, see the red mark down there? I've still got one guy to take out. Luckily, this guy's a little bitch. Wait, stim packs make it. Oh shit, they make your health regenerate over time. Yes. About so that. it's not like you get to the brink of death and you're like, okay, let me eat three of these stim packs and hide in the corner for a second. Aww. No, you can't do that. This guy doesn't know what's going on, so it's all good. Yeah, he obviously is just not bothered by me shooting him with this shotgun. He's just like, whoa, mosquito. Look at him just limping away. Get him, Beagle. Wait, you're tied up. Yeah, he <laughs> Beagle. Ugh, what a dick. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> now, you totally can kill him. Uh, you can get him killed. These are options you have. But because I'm such a nice guy, I'm, I ended up freeing him and letting him just walk out of here with me because I've already taken out all the guys. He doesn't have to do any fighting. Well, yes, on the way out, uh, th there was a locked door uh, to the right. When you came in on the, the way out, it's going to be on the left. There's a computer there you can hack. Hacking that leads you into a room with a safe that I couldn't unlock, but there's a, a med kit in there with some good stuff. There's also some ammo and a gun. Ooh. So I'm going to go hit that up on my way out. Uh, when you get outside, you're going to have a conversation with Mr. Beagle. He's going to say, hey now. I'm not the sheriff. I'm just the deputy. You need to go get your own sheriff. And he's going to suggest that feller across the road at the NCR camp or this guy at the NCRCF, uh, an ex-sheriff. So, he's been putting it in our hands to find a sheriff. And in the next series of videos, that's exactly what we're going to do. Bam! Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite thrilling. 
problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. <laughs>